Who heavens on the go? Sunday, September 24th, 2023. Topic, what you say matters. Memory verse, Mark 11, 23. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Bible reading Mark 11, 20-24 And in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter, calling to remembrance, saith unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree which thou causest is withered away. And Jesus answering, saith unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whatsoever, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. The Message Provided you don't doubt, Whatever you decree as a child of God, you will get. In Job 22, 21 to 28, it is written that if you obey God and do his will, you will decree a thing and it shall be established. Do you know that you can make a decree to your body and it will obey? The first time I went to Zambia to establish a parish of the RCCG, the food I ate upset my stomach. I think I had gone to the toilet 23 times that night before I remembered that, according to the Bible, I shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. I was the sick one and there was no one there to lay hands on me. So I laid my hands on my head, spoke to my stomach and the problem ceased. The God I serve is the same God you serve. The Bible I read is the same Bible you read. And the Holy Spirit in me is the same Holy Spirit in you. Therefore, you can also get the same results. Remember 8, 7, Romans 8, 17 says, We are heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. That means we have access to the wealth of God. God is so wealthy that he owns all the gold and silver in the world. Haggai 2.8 How can you have access to such wealth and still be living in poverty? You must decree that wealth comes to you. What you say with your mouth is what God will work with. Numbers 14.28 When I came into full-time ministry, Many friends thought I was mad. They wondered how an acting HOD of a mathematics department would resign to become the general overseer of a poor church. Whenever I had financial problems, I would keep saying, God is working over time taking care of me. Some people around me then tried to caution me saying no one would help, want to help me financially if I kept saying such things, but I never relented. I wasn't bothered because I was not relying on man for help, and I often made this clear to anyone who cared to listen. Look how far he has brought me now. I put all my faith in God and declared my way into the wealth that God had already prepared for me. You can do so too. Stop saying you are broke. Stop saying things are hard. Remember that as God lives, it is what he hears you say that he will do to you. Numbers 14, 28. So, 
use your mouth to bring what you want into your life. Action point. Begin to declare the things you want to see in your life and make it a lifestyle from now on. Bible reading in one year. Nahum 1 to 3. Hymn for today. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adebui, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.